How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Android device with your brother QL1110 NWB wireless thermal printer. This is an amazing machine and there is not another one like it in its price point. If you aren't familiar with this printer, make sure you check out the video up in the corner. I go over a lot of the features and just a lot of examples and test prints, but this is a nitty gritty video, a specific tutorial for setting it up on your Android phone. We are not going to use a desktop. We're gonna set it up strictly through the Android phone and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps other people find it. It lets me we know that you're watching and it's just like the nicest way to say thanks so thank you just did a factory reset on this so it's as it comes out of the box I just powered it up by hitting this power button right here I got a green indicator light and I'm going to load the labels I purchased these off of Amazon I will also put a link to these in the description they are third-party labels they're cheaper than the brother ones they only go in one way you slide it in you put the paper just like that and you close the top. Now we need to get our devices on the same network in order for them to communicate because it's not just going to work without communication. So we're going to hit the WPS button on the printer. It's going to start blinking and then you're going to hit the WPS button on your router. So this is very crucial. You need to have a router with a WPS button in order to link them together. We're going to press this WPS button on my router and at that blinking right there means that it's now open and it's gonna link to the printer. It basically unlocks your network for a short period of time and looks for a device that is trying to connect to it and it allows them to connect. You must have a router that is WPS capable, otherwise you're going to have to use the Bluetooth function, which we will also go over in this video. And I'm going to take you guys into the phone to show you step-by-step step how to do this. First, you're gonna wanna go to the Google Play Store. You're going to type in Brother, and the second app is what you're going to download, the Brother Print Service plugin. You're going to hit Install, 38.93 megabytes. And basically, that does is installs the drivers onto your phone or whatever information and software your phone needs to have in order to work with the printer. This next step is very important for eBay users in order to get your eBay labels in the 4x6 shipping format for your brother printer. So we're going to open a browser, not the eBay app, and you're going to go to ebay.com. And it looks very mobile friendly, but we are going to go to three dots at the top, and we're going to request the desktop site, which gives us a mimic of how it's going to look if we accessed it from a computer rather than being stuck in the mobile format. We have a lot more options when we are on the mobile desktop site and you can do things that you cannot do on the app. Okay, and then we're gonna navigate to my eBay. You're going to go to selling and then from here you're going to go up to the top, zoom in to orders and you need to pick an order that you have pending that you have not shipped yet, otherwise this will not work. I don't know why eBay does not have an easy way to change the settings or maybe it's just a way that I'm not aware of. From here, we're going to zoom in. We're going to go to print shipping label. From here, you're going to want to scroll down and see where it says eight and a half by 11 PDF. You're going to hit change. You're going to scroll out, uh, zoom out a little bit. There is a four by six option. You're going to hit save because you want to save that option. And then we're going to go back down, zoom back in, and it's going to say four by six PDF. We're going to hit preview. This is going to give us a preview sample. You can download it, you can hit download or you can click right on the link, open it up with Google Drive just once, that's fine. And we have a sample label right here. We're gonna go three dots at the top, hit print, and your QL110NWB should populate. If not, hit the drop down and see if you can see it anywhere there. The paper size is incorrect. I don't know exactly why it does that, but you have to change it the first time to four by six. It will save that setting for the next time that you print, and then you're going to hit print. Okay. It's going to beam it to the printer. And there you have your sample four by six label, you tested it, and you are in the right format. Um, 
Everything is linked, you did your first test print, that is good. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it to Bluetooth. You're going to hold the Bluetooth button on the printer. It's going to light up, meaning that the Bluetooth is on. You're gonna make sure Bluetooth is on your phone. So you're gonna to go to Bluetooth on your phone, make sure that is on. Go to your Bluetooth settings, hit pair new device. QL1110 NWB pops up. You're going to click pair. And we are connected to our printer. Now we can go back to that sample label. We can do three dots at the top, hit print. Go to the drop down at the top where your printers are and now you have the Bluetooth option. So that first option is basically your wireless, going through your wireless network. And then the third option, the QL, it tells you it's a Bluetooth connection. So we're gonna do a Bluetooth connection this time and we're going to send it through Bluetooth. And it's going to print just like it did on the other label we sent through the wireless network. Okay, now that you have all of that, now that you've done that test, okay, we're going to open up the eBay app. We have two orders to ship. We're going to pick one of them and then we're going to click create shipping label right there. Weigh your package if you haven't already. Plug in all your dimensions, pick your shipping service, get all everything squared away, and then you're going to hit purchase shipping label, then you're gonna hit okay. Now you're going to hit print label. You're going to pick your QL1110 NWB, four by six, you're gonna hit print. And it's going to send your label right to your printer. Take that label, remove the back, stick it right on your package, and that thing is good to go. Now, if for some reason it does not print, and I have had some bugs with the eBay app, it's not with the printer itself, I think it's a bug with the eBay app, you can send the label, send it to yourself, save it to your drive, and then you can print it through there. And it's only a bug on Android because I have not had this issue with iOS devices. We're gonna do one more package. I'm gonna show you guys another method of shipping from mobile, and this package is over a pound, but it still fits in a poly bag. It's almost two pounds, but it fits in a poly bag. So if we go to our eBay app, pick the order, we're going to create shipping label. It's just about two pounds and the dimensions are about nine by nine by 12 by four. Plug those in. And eBay says our shipping is $10.54. Well, there's a way to get it a little bit cheaper than that. You're going to go to pirateship.com. You're going to create a login if you don't already have one, or if you already have a login, you're going to log in. And then you're going to have to go to settings, integrations. If you're starting it brand new, you're going to have to integrate and log in on your eBay. I have already done it. So as you can see, my eBay and my Etsy are already linked, but that's how you get to integrations and through settings if you have to do that. But I'm going to go to ship I'm going to go to this import link right here, click on that. It's going to import orders from eBay and from Etsy for me. I hit refresh. I have three orders, one of, the, one of them that we just did, and then one's an Etsy that we have to do, and then one's the eBay one that we just did that just hasn't uh, updated yet. I'm going to go to get rates, and this is the jacket. I can tell by the by the shipment details right here or by the person's name, I can tell this is the same order from eBay that I'm shipping right here. I have to blur it all out because all personal information, but it also has the name of the eBay item just in case you didn't link the names together. And then for type of packaging, you're going to go into Polymailer. 
envelope, padded envelope, poly bag, soft pack. You're going to type in the dimensions of the poly mailer, which is nine by 12. And then you're gonna do the weight, which was two pounds, zero ounces. And then you're going to go to get rates. And if all goes well, this should be in the $8 range. Oh, even better, this is in the $7 range rather than a $10 shipping from eBay. Because they use this priority mail cubic calculation, you can print out the labels from these heavier items through pirate ship and save yourself anywhere from two, somewhere, sometimes it's even like five or $10, depending on the type of package and dimensions and everything using that cubic rate. I don't know why eBay doesn't do cubic rate, it's kind of silly, but hit buy label, we're gonna hit print label, we're going to have to download the label to our phone, it pops up right there, three dots at the top, hit print, and I'm gonna print this one through Bluetooth, just for example, rather than through the wireless, I'm even gonna turn the wireless off. I'm gonna hit print, And there is my Bluetooth printed label. Remove the backing, stick it on, and this package is good to go. Pirate Ship will link with eBay and upload that tracking, and then that order will come off of your eBay queue of needing to be shipped. That is the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of information, I know, in a pretty fairly short amount of time. But if you guys have any questions about the printer, about the Android, about the app, about eBay or whatever. Let me know about them in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram. I did a tutorial specifically for this printer and Poshmark, it will be posted probably within a couple of days. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. G Smith, I hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget again to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.